Christmas year round. News force Adam Harding shows us the dazzling display of love and one man's over the top holiday tribute to the light of his life. A week before Thanksgiving. And Joseph DiMartino is already putting the finishing touches on his holiday display. <laughs> I'm like the Santa Claus of Staten Island. Decorations complete with COVID safety measures. Before crowds pack his driveway. That's right. For the big reveal. If this gives anybody any type of hope, this is what my goal is this year. A home filled with light. A passion for Joseph, born out of darkness. He's been spreading neighborhood cheer every Christmas since losing his wife in the attacks on 9-11. He collects donations each year for children battling cancer at the hospital where his late wife's sister worked. The first year we raised, believe it or not, $1,635. And I like, this is crazy, you know? Now, the numbers are 30, 35. Last year was $37,000. Nearly two decades later, he's raised more than $300,000. It's about one really amazing person kind of mobilizing a community to help kids who need help. The money going toward a new pediatric cancer center. The family plans to welcome those looking to be wowed in the coming days. This is an opportunity for people to still have some holiday spirit, to still actually help their community and yet do it in a socially distant way uh, and still help an amazing person who's trying to help more people. It's What could the holidays be more about than that? It brings a lot of joy to me that the beacon of light in her memory is keeping her alive and also keeping me alive and helping sick children at the same time. So I always say it's a win-win situation. On Staten Island, I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York. Oh, wow. The Santa of Staten Island, oh. welcoming those who want to be wild. Oh, we love to see that. Yeah. $300,000 way to go. All right, if you're looking for more ways to get into the holiday spirit, like what we saw.